ever get this feeling like you're meant for something more? Like there's this whole part of you the world just doesn't see? Yeah. That's kind of the journey we're diving into today. Mm -hmm. A story so personal, so powerful, makes you think about identity, family, what it really means to be whole. What I think is so fascinating is how this story, it kind of brings together these really personal experiences with these bigger changes, like mm. societal shifts we're seeing. Right. Around gender, family, all of it, you know? Exactly. Like, it's really interesting. We're going deep into the experience of Jess, a transgender man in the Philippines, soon to be a father. Wow. And he was so open in this interview, talking about the challenges, the good stuff too, the really raw emotions that come with living a life true to you, yeah. even when it means going against like every expectation. Absolutely. And I think his story is such a good reminder that these aren't just ideas, mm -hmm. right? These are real people dealing with really tough, real dilemmas. A hundred percent. So let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> Jess talks about first identifying as a lesbian, but it's like something just wasn't quite right. right. It wasn't until later he found the term transgender that it clicked. It's that moment of recognition, right? Mm -hmm. Where you finally have the language for what you're feeling inside. Totally. And for Jess, that was huge, but it also, you know, it added another layer to his life. Yeah especially growing up in the Philippines. It's heartbreaking. He talks about how his own mother, trying to understand, sent him to an all-girls school. Wow. Hoping to somehow, I don't know, change him. It's a classic example of how strong those expectations can be. Mm -hmm. And trying to suppress or redirect someone's true self can really have a lasting impact. For sure. And for Jess, this journey of self-discovery, it's happening alongside his career in entertainment. Oh, wow. He was actually on a reality show called Starstruck right when he was dealing with all of this. Imagine the pressure of that, right? I know. Like you're trying to find yourself, be genuine. Yeah. But you're also in this industry that can feel so defined by these traditional gender roles. Talk about a balancing act. Seriously. And then another layer, Jess starts hormone replacement therapy, HRT. Oh. This is where things start changing physically, emotionally, how the world sees you. And it's not just physical. For a lot of trans men, HRT is a huge part of aligning like who they are inside with how they look on the outside. Right. But it's not always easy. It has its own emotional, physical challenges. Oh, especially with the public watching. Oh, for sure. Public scrutiny adds a whole other level of difficulty. Yeah. Many trans people, they feel this pressure to pass as their affirmed gender. Yeah. And honestly, that pressure's really hard. Absolutely. And despite all that, despite what many would call a successful physical transition, even top surgery, mm. which for listeners who don't know means breast removal surgery, right. just still felt incomplete, like something was missing. And this is so important. You know, transition goes so much deeper than just the physical stuff. Yeah. It's about that feeling of being whole inside and out. Totally. And for Jess, that meant needing something more, something deeper, family. It's like he'd come so far on his own, but that need for family just wouldn't go away. It's something we see a lot, that push and pull between what you want and what society expects, you know? Yeah. Like this pressure to fit into these traditional families, even when the idea of family is changing. For sure. And you can hear that in his voice when he talks about wanting to be a parent. Like, it's something he wants. But there's also this almost like an obligation to fit that traditional role. And that obligation, it can come from inside and outside, right? Wow. These deep down beliefs about what it means to be a man, a partner, a complete person. Definitely. So he starts looking at his options. Yeah. And it really struck me how each path seemed to hit a dead end. Mm. He talks about these IVF consultations, like a little bit of hope, but then roadblock after roadblock because he's transgender. It shows how hard it still is for LGBTQ plus people. Uh. We talk about healthcare disparities, and this is it. Not just about getting the right care, but being treated with respect, having your needs taken seriously. It's like being told, you can't want this, can't dream this because of who you are. Right. And the frustrating thing is, it wasn't even over. No. Like, even when he looked into other ways to be a dad, surrogacy, those had their own problems. So oh, absolutely. He mentions looking into international surrogacy, but the costs were crazy high and the logistics, I can't even imagine. So complicated. International surrogacy, ethically, legally, every country is different. Some take advantage of people. It can feel like it's made to keep people out who don't fit this one idea of family. It's a lot, but just he doesn't give up. He lands on artificial insemination, AI, as the best option. It's cheaper, less bureaucratic, but still not easy. Choosing AI, especially outside of a hospital like Jess did, 
it makes you think about control versus safety. On one hand, people get to make their own choices about having kids, but it yeah. also brings up questions about ethics and risks. And you can tell he's thinking about all that. On one hand, relief, he found a way forward, but then all this emotional stuff comes up. He even says he wonders why his journey had to be so much harder. That feeling of why me... We've all felt it. Even if our problems are different, it's human nature to compare, to measure our struggles against other people's. But what Jess's story shows us is everyone's path is different. And those comparisons usually just make you feel worse. He does find a sperm donor online and has the procedure with a nurse, not in a hospital, but even with the plan, a positive pregnancy test, the emotional ups and downs don't stop. Of course not. This is about way more than just getting pregnant. This is about who he is, about becoming a father, about challenging everything people think they know. And then you add in the hormones changing from the pregnancy. Mm, right. He says he feels balanced, and I didn't know what to think at first. It's a loaded word, yeah. balanced, because it means the joy, the excitement, but also this like underlying anxiety, almost disbelief, maybe even a little fear. Absolutely, and hormones are intense for anyone pregnant, but for Jess, a transgender man going through this, it has another whole level. Totally. It's about understanding how those hormones affect everything he's already been through physically and emotionally. And it shows how important mental health support is, especially for LGBTQ plus people on these journeys. He says he relied a lot on his faith during this time, praying for strength and guidance. It made me think about how we all need something to help us when things are hard. For sure. Whether it's faith, family, friends or just that voice inside pushing you on those support systems are everything they remind you you're not alone and talking about support jess really leans on his partner camille he's open about how up and down his emotions are how she's there for all of it shows how strong their relationship is how committed they are to doing this together as a team and it highlights how important partners and loved ones are in supporting transgender people not just through the medical stuff but through every emotion along the way it makes you think about what being a true partner really means that unwavering support, being there, even when it's messy, complicated. Because let's be real, life is messy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the best journeys are the ones you don't expect. It really makes you think one story can change your whole view. Jess's story definitely did that for me. It's like living, it just hits different, you know, challenges what you think you know, makes you face how complex the world really is. Yeah, like I'd say I'm pretty aware, but hearing Jess talk about how even finding the right words for his identity was hard. Right. It shows how much is different, even in just 10 years. Absolutely. We understand transgender identities so much better now, but we're not done. Not even close. We still got to fight for equal health care for everyone to be accepted, you know? Yeah, definitely. And you said something earlier that stuck with me, how Jess felt torn between wanting a family and feeling like he had to fit this mold. I bet a lot of people feel that, right? Like, Am I choosing this for me or am I trying to fit in when it doesn't feel right? Totally. It makes you think twice about what a real family even means. Exactly. Jess's story makes us ask, is it about being related by blood, having the same last name? Or is it about love, being there for each other, making a place where a kid can really grow? For Jess, those things are all connected. He talks about looking forward to his daughter being born which, by the way, will be a C-section because of his heart. Oh, wow. Another layer to it all. It's all mixed up, beautiful, messy, complicated, just like life. And through it all, Jess is making his own way, deciding what family means to him. And he's thinking ahead, too. He mentioned maybe getting bottom surgery, which is huge in his transition. And that goes back to feeling whole, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just the body. It's making everything match up, how you feel inside and out, your mind, your heart, all of it. Being comfortable in your own skin, finally, and being able to share that with the people you care about most. Exactly. And talking about sharing, Jess thinks about the talks he'll have with his daughter someday, about his life, about what being transgender means. Yeah, he talks about how important it is to love yourself, accept yourself more than anything else. I can only imagine how much that'll mean to her. Shows what kind of dad he wants to be honest, open, with a lot of heart. It's easy to get caught up in the news, the arguments, but hearing Jess, it reminds you, it's real people, real families, just trying to figure it out. Absolutely. And stories like his, they can bring people together, help them understand each other when it feels like everything's trying to pull us apart. This has been amazing. Thank you so much for talking with me. It's been incredible. It was great being here. I always love getting into these important conversations with you. And to everyone listening, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We'll be back soon with another story. But until then, keep asking questions and stay curious. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for future podcast notification. This is the podcast, powered by OnQ New Media.